Yeah. Cool. So we got Sean Hartman. How, How you doing? doing? Good. Do you want me to look at the camera or look at you? You just look at me. It's fine. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Bane. You know what I'm saying? So, I like to look at you. You got a, you got a lovely face. A lot of oh, you too, camera. sir. Thanks. And uh, the artwork is also lovely. Oh, thank you very much. So now tell me, uh, the event is, like, the competition part is sort of over. Right. What were your, some of your experiences? Uh, it was a lot of hard work. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty challenging. I don't usually work with stencils, um, but due to the short time we had to prepare uh, the artwork, I thought that might be the best way to go. So uh, it was a little bit uncomfortable in terms of that, like working with a kind of new style. Um, oh, so that was a new style? Because that is clean. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah. Typically, what I'll do is I'll take um, source. I really like like Americana stuff, yeah. like early uh, Americana, Civil War, uh, independent, War of Independence, uh, things like that. And I try and add more of like an illustrative style. Um, I'm a lot into like comic books and illustration, street art. So I kind of try to marry those things in my art and do some you know line work and some gestural kind of underpainting and stuff like that so this was totally different I was kind of outside of my comfort zone for this because with that my process is totally different there's no way I can knock it out in eight hours so uh, yeah man, I spent a lot of preparation time getting stencils ready and uh, kind of laying it out digitally and trying to figure out how it looked best on the box and then I just kind of came with a game plan and knocked it out as best I could okay so now uh, lessons learned like if you were to tell somebody what to kind of expect to do something like this, yeah. you got to have a plan. You can't come in. Uh, there were people, I painted the second day, and there were a few people who had painted on Sunday, came in and had to redo their box because they just they didn't have a plan or whatever happened and they had to redo it. So they were stressed out. They were really like kind of uh, trying to, uh, you know, trying to solve the problems that they had created. Before. So if you can do that up front, uh, you'll be way more good. Way more good. Uh, so it's all about preparation, having a game plan. Uh, and then I would say don't stay out, of, don't go outside your comfort zone. Even though I totally did, but I mean I have, I've you know I've known a lot of stencil artists. I've been around it. I've worked with spray paint before, so I understood the medium well enough to know that there are some things you have to worry about um, when you do that. So I did my homework. So uh, with that said, I, I, one thing I did do wrong though is I didn't. I, I mixed brands of spray paint. Um, I, I mean, like, you know, typically everyone these days is using like Montana and stuff like that. Krylon's old school, but some people still stick with Krylon. Um, I grabbed some Rusto, um, and I just thought it was going to coat nice and glossy and heavy, but what I didn't think about is that I'd be hitting an outside in the humid weather that stuff didn't dry. It took forever to dry. Luckily, was, like, for most of it, it was like my next to last coat, so I didn't have to stress too hard. But, like, some of it just, like, did not work out because the the rest of it was just so thick. Yeah. Um, but so that, with that said, I just stick Montana next time. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. So yeah. now, uh, how can people reach you on the internet? Uh, I, I'm at SeanHartman.com. Uh, I just, uh, Twitter handle is uh, Sean Hartman. Instagram is Sean Hartman. Yeah. So, I mean, you can Google me. I'm out there. Nice. Um, it's pretty easy. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, yeah. good luck and continued success. Thank you very much. Peace.